Hey guys and welcome back to the DIY HVAC Guy YouTube channel. I've been doing a lot of videos recently on backup power for your furnace. As you can tell right now I'm running my furnace with this extension cord instead of having it plugged into my uh, outlet here and this goes out to my power station. Now the question that a lot of people have had is they say um, my power station I've got it plugged into my higher efficiency newer furnace and it just it doesn't work. And so they're asking, how do I get the furnace to work with the power station? And I'm gonna show you a very easy way to resolve this problem. I've recommended this to a lot of folks and they said it works great. And it's a really easy way to get past that roadblock with some of the higher efficiency furnaces. So let's get into it. All right, so what we've got here is a regular extension cord. And what we've done is we've taken a pigtail I'll leave a link for a pigtail in the video description just a standard three prong and we've wired it in here uh, very basic just I soldered this one black to black white to white green to green um, very basic and I had two male ends now this is called a suicide cord and you're probably wondering why are the two flat ends um, lopped off. Now the answer is on a lot of these power stations um, we have to utilize the house ground otherwise the power station will not function it just it won't work and so I've recommended this to a lot of people all we've done is cut off the two power and neutral tabs on both of these so we're basically just taking our ground we're gonna plug this into our outlet that's going to utilize this ground from the house. And we're gonna plug this end into our power station. And no power will go through this wire, only the ground, and that should resolve your problem. All this will cost you is the amount of a cheap um, extension cord. This one is longer than is necessary. And then a pigtail that's about $12. So we're gonna show you how this is set up at the power station and the furnace and hopefully this will resolve your problem. All right, so the one end we are going to plug in and it might be a little bit loose like that. That's totally fine. Again, we're just utilizing the ground. If you don't have this same setup as what I have, just plug this into any outlet in your home and it will utilize the ground regardless of if you have power or not. So we're gonna plug this one in here and then we're gonna take our other end and we're just gonna plug that into another outlet on our inverter or our power station. So let's do that. All right, now at our power station, we're just gonna find an additional outlet and we're just gonna plug it in and hopefully that will resolve your problem. It will connect the ground prong to your uh, grid ground and this will not have any issues with back feeding if you might wonder. All we're doing is basically bonding the ground and making sure that we have a connected ground here. Well, I hope you guys found this video helpful. Um, I had a lot of people ask me, um, they said their, pow their furnace would come on, it wouldn't turn the blower on or it would do some weird stuff. So give this a shot. Um, it's just the expense of an extension cord and a pigtail. So I've had a bunch of people say that I recommended this that say it works. So I think it might be beneficial for you. So I just wanted to share. Um, if you haven't seen that outlet slash switch that I have on the furnace that makes it really easy to plug a power station into your furnace in the event of an emergency, check out this video and we're going to show you how easy that is to install. Um, really easy and really nice way to prepare for a power outage. So until next time, you guys be safe and we'll catch you on the next one. Later.